Hi everybody and welcome to TWF Impact, I mean TWF uh, NXT. And today on NXT we have Alaska, the TWF Heavyweight Champion. Well, I guess Alaska, Alaska said we have some problems here. I have been mocked for a while. First, I had a stupid match against Damian Sendow. Um, that was interrupted. I had a match with Daniel Bryan. Actually, by the way, I should have been able to defeat uh, Aaron Rex and, Dam and Daniel Bryan. So, and here's what we're going to see. Apparently, Belaska says, apparently, I'm here because, number one, I'm being disrespected. Number two, Kevin Owens apparently likes to bully little children when he can't choose uh, teenagers and adults to focus on in his matches. And when that gets to my point, my point is, is that I think that it should be John, and <clears throat> my point is, Austin Aries, you, want, you said you were going to come after me. You haven't done nothing lately. All you did was run your mouth. We had one or two matches, and you interrupted one of my match. But the truth is, I don't think you're going to become a four-time TWF heavyweight champion. Okay, first off, Alaska, Austin Aries says, let's get this perfectly straight. You apparently think you're like Kevin Owens. Well, wait a minute. You actually said you were better than Kevin Owens. Okay. Which well, tell the truth, Belaska. If it wasn't for Kevin Owens or Kevin Steen or whatever you like to call him, you probably wouldn't have gotten <clears throat> the push you got. Yeah, and we all know for a fact, Austin Aries, that if it wasn't for Seth Rollins and his big push that they that they decided to give him, you would have not been anywhere. You would have not been used either. And since I don't care about you, I don't have any respect for you. That's why I was messing with my belt. Okay, bearing off Kevin Owens, here's, pfft, oh, Austin Aries, here's what's going to happen. You see, when me and you have that match, when it finally happens, that ladder match, I'm going to destroy you. You're not going to see when it's coming. You're not going to care when it's coming. But I know it's going to happen. Oh, is that a fact, huh? Well, let's just face it, Alaska. I'm not afraid of you. I'm the greatest man ever lived, and I will be a four-time TWF heavyweight champion. And you know that for a fact. Yeah, this is the guy who, when he was sitting against Godzilla, couldn't beat him. You would like to take a fling at me. I dare you. Yeah, well, I think I'll save that. You want to come on? No, I think I'll change my mind and save it for the match. Well, Belaska says she's going to save it for the match. For the alleged match. You know. And well, Belaska, oh, Belaska tried to attack Kevin, uh, tried to attack Austin Aries. Yeah. Your, the belt won't fit around your waist. But apparently it'll fit around my waist. Or it'll also fit around my arm. And we already saw what Austin Aries did. 
proving that it, the belt will, for, will be around his waist or around his arm and not Velasquez now. And I understand that Goldust and Kung Fu Panda have to defend the TWF World Tag Team Championships. And a return match against uh, Brian Kendricks and Paul London. And uh, <clears throat> are we going to hear? I wonder if we're going to hear from Commissioner Four or General Manager Daniel Bryan over what happened on Monday, uh, happened on SmackDown Live between Ken Shamrock and Medusa. And when Ken Shamrock did what he did. Well, here it comes. First, the challengers, Paul London and Brian Kendricks. And the TWF World Tag Team, the, the TWF Tag Team Champions. Poe Dust, Poe and Gold Dust. Uh, first, we're going to go Brian Kendricks, and Brian Kendricks going to go, and I guess going to be Goldust. And here we've got the referee out of the way, ding, ding. and Goldust is talking down Brian Kendricks. Oh, Goldust picking up Brian Kendricks he, and body slam him. <clears throat> Goldust right now. Did whatever that move was. We don't know what that move was. Brian Kendrick's in trouble right now. Curtain call. And the referee just fell down right now. And we got to move the ring now. Now Goldust trying to tag in. Trying to tag in Poe now. And Poe trying to come in. And right now we have Brian Kendrick tagging in Paul London. And here comes Brian Kendricks. I mean, Paul London. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh! One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winners. And the new TWF World Tag Team Champions, Paul London and Brian Kendricks. So Paul London and Brian Kendricks once again are the TWF World Tag Team Champions again. And Goldust and Poe. Well, what happened? Poe says. What happened? Why did we lose the belt? Why is your hand all, all messed up? I don't know why we lost the belt. I tagged you in, Goldust says. And then Brian Kendricks tagged in, po tagged in Paul London. And next thing you know, we lost the belts. That's why I'm telling you I think this tag team was a mistake. No, Poe. Poe Dust is not a mistake. We're going to get those belts back. And then we'll shatter the dreams of Paul London and Brian Kendricks. You sure about that? Because I'm a TWF Allegheny County Champion. Yeah, I'm got I'm right about that. Well, I understand that we're going to finally hear from G Commissioner Four and General Manager Daniel Bryan over the over the actions of Ken Shamrock and the Medusa match that happened on SmackDown Live yesterday. So, Renee Young is going to get her gem in the hall, or gem microphone, the only one actually fits in her hand.
Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time happens to be the commissioner of the Toy Wrestling Federation for and the general manager of the Toy Wrestling Federation, Daniel O'Brien. Well, Daniel O'Brien comes in the ring now with with uh, Commissioner Four. We're going to finally find out what's going on here. I'm here with General Man. I'm here with Commissioner Ford, the Commissioner of the Toy Wrestling Federation and Chairman of the Toy Wrestling Federation Executive Committee, and also the and uh, here with Daniel Bryan, the General Manager. Explain to me what exactly happened. Well, Renee Young, it's like this: Medusa got herself disqualified, and Ken Shamrock was the winner. However, Ken Shamrock and Medusa were fighting, and when I told Ken Shamrock, well, actually, Medusa ran off. I told Ken Shamrock I'd give him a return match. Ken Shamrock then gives me a belly-to-belly -belly suplex and then leaves the building. Now, even though I will admit that Ken Shamrock was wronged, the referee's decision is final. And I was giving Ken Shamrock his return match against Medusa. But since Ken Shamrock has chosen to belly to belly suplex the commissioner, after a meeting with the TWF executive committee, I have come to the decision that Ken Shamrock has been, will be suspended, that Ken Shamrock has been suspended. Now, how long this suspension will last depends on how long AE won Ken Shamrock won. Ken Shamrock is able to pay up the fine. That will be $300. And number two, ordering him to get a psychological e-violation by any hospital or clinic, and by if the fine is paid and a psychological evaluation comes back that he is mentally stable, then he will be back in the Toy Wrestling Federation. Well, thank you. General Manager Daniel Bryan, any decisions on that? I was not present when the whole Ken Shamrock is Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Stay put. Oh, I hate this. It's like now the figure can't even stand. Stupid ring. Oh, so now I got to change positions now. Stand put. Now I really not really really much I can do with her shoes. Stay up. Well, I wasn't present when it all went down. But I do agree with Commissioner Four that that decision had to be done because we can't have Ken Shamrock going around giving suplexes, belly belly suplexes to anyone when he doesn't get his way. I know that during his time in the World Wrestling Federation, now World Wrestling Entertainment, he did that. But unfortunately, no, he is not good. We are not going to let him do that now. So until the fine is paid and the psychological e-violation is done, Ken Shamrock is here as suspended from the Toy Wrestling Federation. Well, we just heard from Commissioner Four and General Manager Daniel Bryan. Well, for Renee Young and for for everybody here and for Dwayne McAllen and for everybody, we hope you enjoy TWF, you know, uh, Impact, TWF 
NXT, and we'll see you tomorrow for TWF Impact Wrestling.